Hey everyone, Sam and uh, Casey here from SOS and uh, we're going to bring you um, a fantastic warm-up routine we recommend you guys to do before every single session to maximise your workouts in our facility. So this warm-up routine is going to mobilise all the joints in the body, uh, it's going to really raise heart rate and it's going to get you ready to crush your workout. Okay, so the workout's going to start with some static stretches and then we're going to go into um, an SOS flow stretching routine that's going to get the whole body ready to work out. So the first static stretch we're going to look at is uh, working the posterior chain, most notably the uh, hamstrings and the calves, okay? We find a lot of people that come to the gym, they sat down all day and the posterior chain is very tight. So Casey's going to show us a simple stretch. Um, where you place the foot to depend where you get a stretch. She's going to start with a normal hamstring stretch using the band, lying back, okay? She's going to try and make sure she puts her leg flat on the floor and she get a big stretch here. If she's quite flexible, what she can do is bring her toe a little bit more towards her, which is going to bring in the gastrocnemius muscle of the calf. Okay, so that's going to be more of an aggressive stretch. The most important thing to do is make sure your knee stays straight all the time. If that's okay, she's just going to try and pull her leg a little bit closer, making sure this left leg stays flat. If this knee starts to bend, then that's, that's, that's not what we want. Okay, we want to make sure this foot stays, stays flat to the floor. Uh, when she's happy with that, she can spend some time then hanging out in a different position, so she can throw out to the sides. This is going to work a different part of the calf and also uh, bring in some of the, um, the mid thigh muscle reductors and abductors, okay? And if she's okay there, she can bring in a bit more tension and then finally she can go into another stretch and she's going to bring in across her body. This is bringing in again a different part of, different part of the hamstring, working with different muscle fibers. She's become more of an angle here, which is a bit more aggressive. Case is in control of the stretch at all times. Um, so if she wants a bit more tension, she can pull in a little bit harder. But if it's, uh, if it's too much, she can just back off slightly. So it's just like having a trainer stretching her out and you're in total control. We advise you to hold the stretch for 15 to 20 seconds and then swap sides. So once we stretch the hamstrings, it's really good to activate them before we start our strength work in the, in the gym, okay? So a uh, really good exercise we like to do here is the standing good morning. Uh, there's a few reasons why we like to do this. Again, at the bottom of the, of the movement, uh, keeps you have a nice stretch in the glutes. Uh, and also hamstrings. There's also a really good exercise to just to just to remember the hip hinge movement. Okay, a lot of people that come into the facility, we tore the hip hinge, but it's nice. It's always good to recap because the hip hinge is one of the most powerful movements. Okay, she's going to give you um, an example of how to do this. So as you can see, Casey's keeping her back nice and straight. She's standing up and she's squeezing her glutes to the bottom. A nice tempo is about three seconds down, little pause, feel the stretch in the hamstrings, and then stand up, squeezing the glutes at the top. Okay, the reason I like the band of good morning is that the band it has the least tension at the bottom, so, and then as she gets it towards the top, the tension on the band increases. Now in the gym, we have uh, red bands, we have uh, purple bands, uh, green bands, and also blue bands, so as you get a little bit stronger and more confident with hip hinge, you can obviously progress the, uh, the, the band that you use to make it more tender, uh, increase the tension. 10 to 12 reps guys, a couple of sets is, is, is perfect and then we can move on to the next exercise as part of our movement routine. Once we've mobilised the lower body and, and uh, just got a little bit of blood flow in there, we can look and start to mobilise the upper body. Now the shoulder's most flexible joint in the body, uh, which is important we, we, we increase the strength around, uh, around the joint. So a really good exercise we like to do for mobility purposes uh, and also some strength is to do the dislocations, okay? Now, this isn't really good because we also have sticks in the facility, but some people are so uh, tight in their, in their shoulders that they can't use a stick. The band allows you to pull up some tension to extend uh, the band, which allows you to dislocate. If that's, if that's too easy, all Casey needs to do is bring your hands a little bit closer together, which gives you a bit more, um, a bit more tension. Um, it's gonna work those push all those muscles of the shoulder a lot better, okay? So we advise you to do 15 to 20 rotations, um, and after every five reps, just see if you can move those hands a little bit closer, okay? Casey's also getting some lat engagement. When she pulls apart, her lats are starting to engage here as well. So if, uh, if you're having to have a body routine, then uh, getting those lats fired and switched on is only gonna benefit your workout. So once you've uh, mobilized the lower body um, and the upper body, we can start doing exercises or movement patterns that are gonna potentially do a bit of both. So we're big uh, lovers here of the split squat. So Casey's going to do an overhead split squat with the band. Uh, like we spoke about with the shoulder dislocations, Casey's going to pull that band as far and as hard as far as she can, okay, create as much tension as possible to really activate the lats. The key is to make sure she has an active shoulder girdle, so the shoulder's nice and active and strong, uh, and in a solid position. Okay, so we're going to look at that now. Good. And she's going to do a split squat. Good. So the key, guys, to get that knee to travel right over the top, hamstrings are going to make full contact, 
with the gastronomic which is your calf. So basically, you're trying to get your hamstring to touch your calf, and you're going to come out three seconds down. Three, two, one. Pause for two seconds. Tense the glutes. So Casey's getting a really big stretch on the hip flexors and her quads uh, on the on the, the back leg. And she's also getting some strength to get into this left leg here as well. She's keeping her chest up. She's pulling the bands apart. Active shoulder, working those lats. So we're going to go for six to eight reps on each side. Um, with this, guys, if you haven't got the flexibility to do it, really simple. All we're going to do is elevate that front foot with a with a, a weight plate, a Reebok deck, or you can do it on a, any form of step. Okay. So the key is all the times to make sure that heel on the front leg stays down. So six to eight reps on both sides is, uh, is perfect. So guys, this is going to be the SOS flow routine. So we're going to put loads and loads of movement pads together to raise the heart rate. Okay. This is this is much better than going on a just a bike or a cross trainer or or doing aerobic activity to warm up. This is going to get that heart rate rising uh, really high, but you're also going to go into different positions uh, and you can hang out where you feel like you need, you need to. Okay, so Casey's going to take us through a nice uh, full body routine. What we advise you to do is the first time you go through it, really, really take your time, hang out in the positions where you feel tight. You might stay there for a little bit in certain areas and then try and extend uh, the stretch a little bit more and then, then continue with the movement patterns that Casey's going to demonstrate. The second time you go through, you might find you, you go through it a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker, and, and what happens, guys, is you can go through the routine really fast as joints open up and as your mobility and your flexibility starts to improve. Why I like this, guys, is because it's a dynamic movement. Uh, the research is quite clear that if you hold stretches statically for too long before weight training, you're actually weakening the muscles. So by doing things more dynamically, um, you're going to uh, improve mobility and functional movement patterns that are going to only benefit you in the weight room. So we're going to take you through this routine now. I'm advising you this before every single workout.